YouTube, what is up? It's your host with the most, helping waivers like you. I'm Coast to Coast, Waveman Mike, and we're back for another video. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the wash and style method. <coughs> if you do not know what the wash and style method is, let me explain. Basically, you're just washing your hair, but while you do that, you're kind of setting your waves in place and um, basically making your waves look the way that you want them to look when you finish the process. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually did this yesterday, like a full 24 hours ago. Between then and now, I went to sleep, I went to work, I took two showers. So honestly, I do not know how my waves look under this do-rag right now. So the results may be a little bit, a little bit messed up, but we're gonna find out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know you were enjoying the music, but now it's time for me to list the materials that you'll need. First up, you're gonna need a brush. That's pretty obvious. Next up, you're gonna need shampoo. Also pretty obvious. The most important and obvious one of all for washing your hair is water. You're definitely gonna need water. And then you're gonna need a do-rag. There isn't any specific shampoo that you need but I do recommend one that is sulfate free. But if you don't have one that's sulfate free, you can just use whatever shampoo you have. Now, as you can see, I just wet my hair. You can see my face is all wet, my hair is all wet. So just take a look at that. After you wet your hair, go ahead and apply the shampoo. Now, what I'm getting ready to do is something called scrambling um the shampoo into my hair which is something that you can do but if you're a beginner i recommend that you don't do it if you're a beginner i just recommend that you rub the shampoo in your hair the same direction that you brush your hair but if you already have your waves set in place then you can go ahead and scramble just like i'm doing right now basically what this does is gets the shampoo completely throughout your hair make sure it gets all the way down to the scalp things like that i'm just gonna go ahead and rub this in my beard too because you know your beard is hair why not you got the shampoo already in your hands might as well Make sure that you really get that shampoo in there because you're not going to get the amount of lather that you want unless you get the dirt out and the grease out on the first wash. Yes, I said first wash because you are going to do another wash. It's important to wash your hair more than once during the wash and style process because the first wash is for getting all the products out of your hair and the dirt out of your hair. And the second wash is to style. Now, as you can see, I've got all of the shampoo out of my hair. Just take a look at what my hair looks like right now. You can see my curls are in the same pattern that my waves were on that right side. Uh, yeah, my hair is curling up. Um, this is probably what your hair looks like at this moment. But if it doesn't, don't worry. There's no specific way that your hair is going to 
behave when it gets wet. You know what I mean? So this is what my hair looks like when it's rinsed out. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some more shampoo to my hair right now. All right, so like I said, you can scramble wash if you want. However, I do not recommend it for beginners. This could possibly cause you to lose progress as a beginner, um, but it's no guarantee on, you know, whether you're a beginner or not and if you'll lose progress. So just keep that in mind when you do it. If you don't want to do it, remember, just rub the shampoo in the direction of your waves. Now it's time to brush your hair. This is the brush that I'm using. This brush is by a company named Smooth Styles. You can get one from smoothstyles.com. That's www.smoothstyles.com. And if you use my discount code WAVEMAN, you'll get a 20% discount off your entire purchase. So go get one right now. So now what we're doing is the styling part of this process. You're brushing your hair in the waves that you want. Uh, wow, in the waves. I meant to say in the way that you want your waves to lay down. Also, it's important to remember that whatever you do to your waves right now has a big impact. So you can gain a lot of progress just by washing your hair with the shampoo in it, just like it is right now. So that's why people love this um this method so much because you can gain so much progress and you can get your hair to look nice all while doing this process right here Okay, so now let me just take a moment to show you what my hair looks like now. Listen, by this point, if you're still watching, that means you're the GOAT. So go ahead and drop a comment saying GOAT status.
at this point i'm just gonna add a little bit more shampoo just so i can get some more suds and foaming action going on and i can get my hair to lay so i can get ready to put the do-rag on putting on my do-rag it's important to put on your do-rag before before you rinse out the shampoo so with the shampoo still in my hair i'm putting the do-rag on then once the do-rag is on my hair then i will rinse the shampoo out and i will not take off my do-rag again until my hair and the do-rag are completely dry i feel like those two steps are the most um what's the word the word that most people get wrong when doing a wash and style some of them rinse out the shampoo without the do-rag on that's wrong you want to rinse out the shampoo with the do-rag on and most importantly you want to keep the do-rag on until your hair and do-rag are completely dry if you take it off before it's dry it's going to mess up the whole process because what the do-rag is doing is basically holding your hair down in that wet stage when your hair would normally be sticking up since it's um, wet. You know how wet hair frizzes and everything, but the do-rag prevents it from doing that. So now I've rinsed out the shampoo and this is just what my hair looks like through the do-rag when it's wet. You see that? And I'll be back in a second to show you the results. Something that's important for me to mention right now is that I did switch do-rags. This is the, the next day. So yeah, I did switch do-rags, but this is what my hair looks like right now. Tell me what you think down in the comment section below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to go press the like button right now and go subscribe if you're not already. Also go comment long squad if you made it this far in the video. I'm Wave Mike, enjoy your day.